Okay, before I start my video, I apologize. It's been a while. Um, the reason is they had to do oral surgery with my right lower jaw. The reason is, is where they got my brain tumor out. It was a skull-based tumor, and they kind of had to dislocate my jaw and do some stuff there. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to some more surgery. And it was really hard to talk. But, uh, might I digress? This dude here, Julian Assange, he promised us for weeks that he had damning evidence against Hillary Clinton that would, uh, you know, not destroy her, but to indict her and everything else. Well, instead of giving us info, he gave us an infomercial. Now, like me and other Americans, we were waiting with bated breath. And October 4th, I was up all night and into the morning. Uh, and I was watching it through the Alex Jones channel because he had it live. And they were do commentaries on it and stuff like that. And in fact, they were so tired. They were making comedic, uh, you know, comments. But uh, we waited and waited, and they were so tired. They were kind of silly and, you know. But uh, before you knock Alex Jones, um, check out his channel. I'll leave a link below to the video. Uh, but, yeah. It was like, buy my books and my DVDs, and it was like, oh my god. But anyway, um, here are some clips from the Alex Jones show. But like I said, check out Alex Jones before people say, oh, don't listen to him. Do your own homework and just check him out. Anyway, here are some clips. Yes. Too, but this is like your... You want to hear this? Infowars.com forward slash show. On a specific, a specific announcement, so sort of... Um, it, I know it sounds a bit bad, but it's a bit of a guess out clause, but obviously the nature of sort of a security issue for him is one that we can't really go. No, I get it. He can't be on the balcony, but his security, he better get the dirt out. Happy birthday. Here we go. Go to Sarge, full broadcast. Infowars.com coverage. Here we go. This is truth, not Ruth, actually. <laughs> Uh, I actually didn't hear much of what went on because uh, you need to be uh, close to the uh, mic that's connected uh, to computer system. But, okay, um, so I understand kind of the, the good thing, so we have time for questions. Um, over the last uh, 10 years, uh, WikiLeaks has released 10 million documents comprising of 10 million words. And why uh, numbers are not everything, uh, there are staff. That information, part of it, never would have existed in the world uh, had we not released it. It would have been stored away somewhere privately, uh, but it wouldn't have become part of our uh, collective uh, civilizational knowledge. And um, it corresponds to approximately 3,000 documents a day on average. Uh, that's a hell of a lot of work. Uh, that's why we don't release uh, every single day. Uh, we do things at scale um, in order to, uh, say, uh, release 100,000 documents at once. But it does pan out to about uh, 1,000 uh, documents per day. Now, why uh, do this at all? Uh, I mean, in a position uh, where uh, I've been detained without charge here in the UK, in one form or another, prison, house arrest, the last four years in the embassy, um, as a result uh, of this work. Uh, some of our sources, uh, um, or alleged sources, uh, have suffered terrible consequences uh, in the United States. Actually, not many. Uh, we have some. Uh, and there's only couple of the red sources that are uh, facing difficulty, but um, altogether, uh, in sources and supporters, uh, people have uh, been sentenced to uh, something like uh, 50 years uh, altogether. And the two most significant uh, cases are 
was that of Chelsea Manning in the United States, uh, sentenced to 35 years in prison, uh, purely for communicating. And he's offered to turn himself uh, in with and then let Chelsea Manning uh, out. There's no other allegation. Uh, We're watching live WikiLeaks coverage uh, of the Julian Assange the press conference at InfoWars.com and RSBN.TV uh, right side uh, of the uh, news. Object to cruel and inhumane uh, treatment uh, akin to torture. Uh, Jeremy Hammond uh, imprisoned in New York uh, for 10 years. And a number, a number of supporters back in the first phase of Neo McCarthyist hysteria in the United States by 2010-2011 um, went through a legal process as well. Uh, most of them uh, have got off uh, without any imprisonment. But, okay, what, what does it teach you? Well, it, it teaches you something uh, about the structure of power. Whenever WikiLeaks engages in a release... Again, we're trying to fix their uh, audio. They've just got well, an mic in a huge room. Uh, about the institution... Uh, about, a little bit uh, better. This is Julian Assange speaking. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, but also the reactions uh, by the institution of the state are extremely revealing. And the reactions by uh, tertiary players, uh, such as particular media groups and their alignment, allied institutions and so on. I mean, this in some ways harkens back to the old statement of Voltaire, that if you want to understand uh, structural power, you should see uh, who it is that you have difficulty um, writing about. Well, my, myself, my staff, and our sources, uh, we believe uh, in some kind of romantic ideal. It's quite a, a quaint notion. It's quite a um, cynical notion. It's quite a notion, in fact, that uh, perhaps in some ways doesn't belong uh, to this time. It belongs to an older time. Uh, perhaps a future time, uh, which is that um, through understanding the world, we can do something sane, we can do something rational. Um, it's not uh, something of a, 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 a postmodernist view uh, of extremely bounded uh, rationality, uh, where we just find a point that you know, we actually do. Um, it's fascinating. Uh, to understand the world around us, and through this understanding, uh, we can see justice come from it, as we have in, in many cases, uh, some of which uh, Sarah has pointed out. Uh, in fact, you can break down um, this quest uh, for knowledge and understanding into really the three types of history. And by history, uh, uh, journalists will understand that uh, I don't mean what happened 100 years ago, or not only what happened 100 years ago. I mean history, so for now, uh, the history uh, that is unfolding all around us. What are the three types? So type one uh, is the history which is subsidized, uh, where there is uh, economic interest in propelling it and promoting it. Uh, that, of course, includes all kinds of advertising and propaganda. Uh, but it also includes very basic things, uh, such as uh, how to hammer in particular types of nails, how to how to build a pump, uh, how to fly an airplane. All right, we're trying to figure out exactly what's being uh, said here, ladies and gentlemen, just like everybody else. Julian Assange is here with millions watching around the world. I think he just said talks about building a pub or something, so we're, we're trying to figure that out right now. Okay. If you don't know who this is, this is Marina Joyce. And she's the girl that was going, oh, I haven't changed. If you think I've changed, no, I haven't really changed. And she kept repeating herself and she was spacing off as you can see this in this photo. But anyway, if you don't know who Marina Joyce is, just look it up on YouTube, uh, especially with us older folk. Anyway, uh, there was this weird controversy that she was kidnapped and uh, that's why she was acting strange and everything else. And there was this controversy that she was kidnapped and they went as far as kidnapped by ISIS. It was this big thing last summer. Um, but for those of you who don't know who she is, especially if you're an old fart like me, um, just look it up on YouTube. Uh, again, her name is Marina Joyce. And when Assange was speaking, 
um, he had a lot of filler words like um and uh and just kind of mumbling and jumbling and didn't make any sense and it was like come on get with it you know do you have any of your documents and secrets and stuff but as he was speaking that's what it reminded me of was this chick first phase of Neo McCarthy's hysteria in the United States uh, in 2010-2011 uh, um, went through a legal process as well uh, most of them uh, have gone off uh, without any imprisonment. But, okay, what, what does it teach you? Well, it, it teaches you something uh, about the structure of power. Whenever WikiLeaks engages in a release... Again, we're trying to fix their uh, audio. They've just got well, an mic in a huge room. Uh, about the institution. Uh, or about, a little bit uh, better. State. This is Julian Assange uh, speaking. It's interesting. Uh, but also the reactions... Uh, by the institution of the state are extremely revealing. And the reactions by uh, tertiary players, uh, such as particular media groups and their alignment, allied institutions, and so on. I mean, this in some ways harkens back to the old statements of Voltaire that if you want to understand uh, structural power, you should see uh, who it is that you have difficulty uh, writing about. Well, for my, myself, my staff, and our sources, uh, we believe uh, in some kind of romantic ideal. It's quite a, a quaint notion. It's quite a um, cynical notion. It's quite a notion, in fact, that uh, perhaps in some ways doesn't belong uh, to this time. It belongs to an older time, uh, or perhaps a future time, uh, which is that um, through understanding the world, we can do something sane. We can do something rational. Um, it's not uh, something of a, as being out of a postmodernist view, uh, of extremely bounded uh, rationality, uh, the way we kind of point it. But we actually do. Um, it's fascinating uh, to understand the world around us, and through this understanding, uh, we can see just as comfort as we have in, in many cases. Uh, some of which uh, Sarah has pointed out. Uh, in fact, you can break down um, this quest uh, for knowledge and understanding into really the three types of history. By well, history, uh, uh, journalists will understand that uh, I don't mean what happened 100 years ago, or well, not only what happened 100 years ago, I mean history so for now. Uh, the history uh, that is unfolding all around us. What are the three types? So, type one uh, is the history which is subsidized, uh, where there is an uh, economic interest in propelling it and promoting it. Uh, that, of course, includes all kinds of advertising and propaganda, uh, but it also includes very basic things, uh, such as uh, how to hammer in particular types of nails, how to, how to build a pump, uh, how to fly an airplane. All right, we're trying to figure out exactly what's being said here, ladies and gentlemen, just like everybody else. Julian Assange is here with millions watching around the world. He just said, talked about building a pub or something, so we're, we're trying to figure that out right now. It's economic subsidy, which is no longer propelled in the world, but sits there and perhaps slowly decays. Uh, that's important to try in some case to drive that knowledge. But generally speaking, uh, it's not kept around because there, people don't find it interesting enough to keep around. And then there's the type three history. Uh, and that None of them think to bring the mic uh, close to the speaker. Uh, it's like way back in the back of the room, they're all just acting liberal, like, ugh, liberal, ugh. Uh, and they can't even hear. And that is I'm honestly shocked at the two, uh, shocked at the two bit nature of this so far. Uh, well, I, mean, I don't want to be negative or mean here, but we're just going to be honest. It's all we can do. This is a freaking train wreck. And um, I'm glad my crew came in and worked really hard tonight. We are like 10 minutes into incoherent babble. I mean, can I just hear like Baggin Shire so I can like send the ring race where this is at? I mean, because I'm sitting here and we've got him over the hot coals here. And again, in the incoherent babbling, you're hearing anything? I'm struggling to make out a lot of what he's saying. I've been trying to hear the words Clinton or Democrats or U.S. election. I haven't really heard any of those key words. 
Well, in case he's doing it, let's go back to it. We're just not intellectual enough to understand this. Here, let's go back to it. ...of the history of the war, or in fact, the history of two countries. And it would not have otherwise... History of countries, that's a large, large history. ...for those countries or for the other countries that were involved in those wars to understand and, and derive lessons from. So, through... Uh, Maybe this so will be better when they put the HD out with actual audio. Subjugated. Will they? Uh, and if they can, why aren't they? Uh, we just plug directly into that. Now we've got questions on the broadcast. <laughs> we can't even get. Uh, people basically the NFL has like three minutes of darkness. You know, the power outage. This is this is a train wreck. Alexandria. I think Alexandria. I think we probably have more documents than Alexandria. Okay, yeah, more documents than Santa Claus ever shit out his ass. We get it. Now give us some documentation. We have the first uh, moment of what we bring into the world being present, as opposed to uh, copies of other books, which might be interesting, but uh, we're in the quest of trying to find original documents that have never been seen before and bringing them... I know, you got the best damn documents. documents. Show them to us. Understand. Okay, so um, Sarah uh, has spoken about uh, some of the technical details uh, and a bit about practical history. Uh, I want to speak now um, about some of the things we're doing uh, going forward, uh, the future of WikiLeaks. Well, I know this, I've, I've seen the internet and I understand that there's enormous expectation uh, in the United States. Uh, yeah, there's enormous uh, expectation. Uh, well, some of that expectation will be partly answered. It built up by him. Um, Here we go. We should understand that uh, if we're going to make a major publication uh, in relation to the United States uh, at a particular hour, we don't do it at 3 a.m. Uh, that's something... Uh, we we don't do it at 3 a.m. Um, what? Uh, this is like... Uh, a, 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 uh, it is a troll we have, to get us to tune into the um, WikiLeaks so these idiots can get on TV great, with their ears sticking up. Uh, he just meant that we uh, don't do it at 3 a.m. Oh my God! Uh, WikiLeaks has grown in a relatively uh, wrong position. Um, where a publishing organization. They just tweeted that out. WikiLeaks is trolling the world. Uh, but I put her a link. He actually said that? Or did you tweet uh, that? Just tweeted that. Uh, That's happening right He now. just said we don't release this um, at 3 a.m. Uh, it, it, it's actually 5 a.m. Uh, Eastern. Uh, uh, and also in a very difficult position of having, but having um, um, more than um, a million documents uh, to get through of many, of many different Is it sources. true? Yes, it's uh, true. This man has no dick. We increase our uh, number of press partnerships. We have about 100 uh, and 10 different organizations uh, over the years. I think there's about 89 uh, active at the moment. Sarah he did the big tell. He goes, by the end of the year, they're going to wait until the election's uh, over and release uh, whatever it is. Um, uh, so who's got a bigger man piece, Michelle Obama uh, or Julian Assange right now? Uh, Julian, listen. No, no, no. I mean, we, hey, look, we just, we, we're not trying to be mean to Julian Assange. Uh, oh, the this two is, trannies. She's definitely got the bigger guy. This, is, this has been um, an interesting and We're having some hysterical fun. Here, let's go back to this guy. Let's go back to Julian Assange, who I liked until this moment. I'm having a real problem. Uh, and what your uh, subject matter expertise is. But, you know, it is karma. We troll a lot. We've been trolled. Uh, that is the WikiLeaks files. Um, oh, uh, now he's going to uh, hawk some products. Uh, InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com. You can buy our non-GMO heirloom seeds, widest selection. And I guarantee you, you will actually grow some real vegetables, fruit trees, you name it. Probiotic, faint him down, please. Uh, Biome Defense, uh, high-powered InfoWars probiotics. Dude, I can't believe he just trolled the world. He could have released more documents, then plugged his book, but what was he that? didn't what was do that? it. it, it oh, my God. Right it's now? like Home Shopping Network. I'm here with a whole giant crew. At least we put on a good production. Infowarslife.com, Infowarsstore.com, Right Side News did a great job covering this, RSBN.TV. They're all over the country when they don't show the Trump rallies, the crowds, Trump behind the scenes. They're total listeners supported. Go there and make a donation. RSBN.TV. Uh, you can go to InfoWarsStore.com and get Hillary for Prison shirts, the Bill Clinton rape shirt, all of our whistleblowers like Tosh Plumley and countless others, CFR members like, uh, you know, Steve Pachenik, all the big whistleblowers. Who else gets Matt Drudge? I don't want to toot our horn, but who gets Matt Drudge? I had an interview in three years with us. You know, InfoWars.com every day, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., the nightly news, 7 o'clock, 
Infowars.com, Infowarsstore.com, the amazing nutraceuticals that are nobody else has got. True iodine, liver cleanse, lung cleanse. Check it out. Infowarsstore.com. Look at the little son of a bitch up there smiling. Uh, I tell you, this is this is a joke. Uh, let's. Uh, this was Fop yep. World. There he is with one of his stinking books. I cannot believe it. Ah, oh, my God, no. But you know what? Uh, Alex Jones fought back by when Julian Assange was showing off his stuff. <laughs> Alex Jones. He showed some stuff off of his own. He's like, hell with you, Julian. I'm going to show some of my stuff of my own. So, well, Saj, you did it. You trolled the world. You did it. Anyway, you got to sell your products or tried. I don't know who's going to buy your crap after this. But anyway, you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, or a good night whenever you see this. And... Please like and subscribe. Anyway, I guess that's it. I'm kind of pissed.